Hi guys. So I am back to make a video with the um, Glam Light Cupcake, Cupcake, yes, palette. And um, this is what it looks like. Oh, I forgot to take the sticker off the mirror. That's gonna make me look. Okay, this is what it looks like. And we're gonna do an eye look with it today. Okay, one thing that I was um, excited to use is the Clean Canvas, the Gerard Cosmetics. Um, this is Fair um, Rose from Instagram. She uses this and I thought it looked really pretty. She uses a brush. I kind of just want to feel it. So look how thick. This is just a lid. It's real thick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, I just stuck it in my eyelashes. Wow, that's real thick. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn this a little, a little ways. It's not, it doesn't feel as stiff as I thought it would. That's, I have like a ton of it on. I'm gonna have to blend this out with my other finger. She uses a brush, but I always feel like I can kind of do it a bit better with my finger. It feels almost a little bit oily. I do think that this will last forever. I was watching the lady that owns the Gerard Cosmetics, the Mrs. Gerard, <laughs> I don't know what her name is. And she said that I think hers lasts are like eight, eight months to a year or something. Okay. I think that's the right color. Unless I wanted to white out my, um, darn it. Sorry, I'm gonna pick up something. One thing I am going to grab from is just my uh, teddy bear palette. I just like to put down um, a lighter, just like a skin toned color right in here. And I think today we'll do like a, a glitter up there just to be a little bit extra. I have a mirror. I'm just not sure exactly about my setup how this works. Like it needs to be right dead in front of me, but it's not. Better, maybe. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. Let me just add a little bit more. Okay, as you know, I have to do my eyebrows or else I cannot figure out the shape of my face. I know you'd think I would know, but I don't without putting my eyebrows, filling them in. I'm gonna just look in this big mirror over here. I need to pluck them, I need to do them. I just bring it in, I know it's hard to see. Either I kind of went up too high. I just kind of bring it down. And then when you put your foundation on, you can fix that. Let's try it on this one. See how they're like way in the middle? I just run my finger kind of up through it. And then when I go and do my makeup, my foundation and stuff, I kind of fix all that. I see my finger and I just slide it down. This one does look a bit low. That's okay. I'll fix it later. We're gonna use our eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do something pretty simple. This is a Morphe M453. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So Look at this fallout. 
I mean, it's like, look at this. I am going to tap that off a lot. Okay. Let's see how they, how they work here. But I do have to look in this big mirror or I'm not going to know what's going on. I'm just going to put it in my crease. I mean, powdery. I'm tapping that off a lot. They're so creamy and like buttery, but like, wow. <laughs> but we'll see. But I mean like, wow, the pigment is amazing. Really, really, really good. I just can't imagine not tapping it off because I think you would get a ton of fallout. Right now I don't see any real fallout on my face. I was gonna pull it out just a tiny bit. I just, I see a lot of people doing that and try it. Sometimes I just worry like, you know, I'm not 20, you know, is that too much? It definitely could be too much. I'll clean it up when I fix it. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably clean that all off. Then I'm gonna just take a tiny, teeny, teeny little brush. This is just from Ulta. And I'm going to use, so you can see how much, how, whoops, how flaky. See that? It's so, so powdery. I'm gonna use this one down here. And this is um, super moist. I know it's hard to see over here. You kind of come in around here. You have to have this tiny little brush, a, not this one, but a tiny brush to just sort of get in there, get around. That looks like a, just a ton of eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, you can see better here. I'm just sort of, we're just going above Pretty, pretty colors. It is so, 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 so bright. <laughs> Let me take my brush here that I blended with up here. Just gonna blend that around a little bit. It's getting up pretty high. Just kinda wanna blend that in. Before I go any further, to kind of come in just right in here clean I'm gonna clean this up just because that whole like pulling it out to your hairline thing is just not really for me I don't think I think I'm just a little bit a little bit too old for that I mean for like an everyday kind of look I don't think that would probably be it for me I don't know, I feel like they blend really well. I feel like they blend well. There's not a ton of fallout. This doesn't have like a, cream cheese is the only like glittery, I guess we'll have to put that above it. I kind of wanted to use that really light this is how it looks. I guess we'll just do it. It's a little dark to put above, but I guess if it looks bad, it looks bad for today. Let's see. Let's just tap a little. That's not bad. I'm just trying to stick with one palette. I'm going to kind of bring this in over here too. You'll, you'll be able to see better over here. Um, I'm just going to bring it in down here. 
This is that cream cheese color, the glittery. It has some gold in it, it definitely does. It looks, it looks heavy over here. Heavy, there's a heaviness to this side that I don't see as much over here. Um, to our lid. I'm going to do it with Gerard Cosmetics, I guess. Why not try it again on something else? I thought it would have, it would come with one. This one will be fine. This is a prescriptives brush. I'm not kidding you. I got this brush when I was 18. Yeah. I don't even know if prescriptives is a brand anymore. I have no idea. Never hear about it. I've never seen it for sale anywhere. <clears throat> okay, let me do this side and then I'll come back and do this one. So I did this side. I did the clean canvas and then I put down um, Dazzling and Cake Mix. Dazzling Cake Mix. I almost think it looks textured, like thick, like chunky. So, because I've never used either of these things before, I don't know. So I'm going to do this side with, also, I use these little spongy things and I just, yes, I think it's more pigmented, but I just don't know. I don't know if that's, I don't know. I don't know if that's the, the thing I want to be doing. I'm going to put down some of this glitter glue, Well, I'm going to have to use a brush. And I'm just going to without using that clean canvas. This is just a glitter glue. Let's just see if it looks any better or any different or if anything changes. Then I'm going to just take, if I didn't have nails on, I would just use my fingers but I have nails, so I am gonna try a brush. We'll just see if it makes a difference. Let's go in with Dazzling, that's the purple. These are so creamy. They're just kind of patchy. I mean, they're, they're, they're patchy. Like, it doesn't pick up like a powder. It looks completely different than the other side. It's like really hard. Let me just, okay, let me try it on my finger and see if, when you press it, this is like, a, it's like a cream. Yeah, they're definitely meant to be used with your finger. Look at, I mean, the difference. They're way, it's way different. The pan, when I'm pushing on it, look. I mean, can you see it's like moving? It's not powdery and flaky. It's like, I guess it is like the Super Shock um, from ColourPop. Um, let me try a different kind of brush here. Oh, it's too small. Let's try this Judy place. Little flat, flat one. Um, I think I'm gonna try using decadent yep it's that same wet just is really hard to pick up with a brush like that i don't know if you can see it okay i definitely like the way this side applied over in this thick heavy kind of muted i mean this is the same color as this but they don't look at all the same I don't think this one looks so much more muted than this one. So the glitter glue I think is much better. Um, and I'm gonna try to just put down some, a little bit of glitter in the middle. I'm gonna use that cream, cream cheese, just like in the, up middle. That didn't even show up at all <laughs> with that brush. Okay, let's try their finger. Yeah, 
These are definitely shadows for your fingers. Oh, I don't care for that. Mm, no, I don't like that. <laughs> well, I guess I gotta do it here. I'm just not someone who likes to use my finger that much. That oh, just looks like a big blob. All that way. Every single glitter, every single metallic is that same super creamy. Which is pretty, but the eyeshadow look, the looks are very different to me. They look very different. They're so, they're so powdery. They matte. I kind of wanted to do this one. This is so beautiful. But like, how? <laughs> how? Um, I could do something like this. Like right under here. Maybe I'll try that one. Um, because I don't think this flat top brush is, is doing anything. Um, I, I don't think the clean canvas is a good, that's not a good cut crease one for me. I have this um, LA Girl Super Shock in, I think this, didn't I use this last time, Vivid? I don't know if that's what it's called. I don't know what they're called. It's just the purple. I, don't, I think there's only one purple. I love these, they're so good. And they're like four bucks. And I get mine at CVS and I have it when they send all those 30% off coupons. And I go get them then. I think this one needs to be sharpened. Okay. Let's see if we can pick it up on a brush. I mean, it is like, okay, I hope you can see this. Watch, when you, I mean, look how dug in it is. And I've used this palette falling out onto the desk. There's stuff on the brush, I can see it. I just don't know if it'll apply it. I just, I don't know. I mean, yes, there it's applying, but it's taking work. It's a work to get it to do something. You know, there's a lot of products where you can just go at it. Man, I don't know. Okay. It has a very wet look to it, which is okay. It's okay. Let's wipe off the fallout because there's quite a bit. And I kind of feel like there's something in my eye. A little like a little piece of glitter or something. That's pr it's pretty. Look at my eyebrows. I gotta fix my eyebrows. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes really quick. gonna do the next two days I'm gonna do looks with the um, ice cream palette and the cupcake but I feel like I'm not as excited because I just don't know that it's gonna look come out right maybe I need practice maybe I need to practice with them this one's real draggy this is the milk makeup. Um, oh, it's the Kush. I've never loved that stuff. I had the, um, I know I'm not filming this very well. Um, I had the Kush mascara. Not a fan.
and I always see it at I always see the Kush Lash Primer like at TJ Maxx so I mean are they even still making it? is it even still a thing? one thing I am going to do is put a little bit of that really the only highlighter color. I'm going to add a little bit more up here. Oh, I, maybe I blended that away. And then in the inner corner, I'm going to put some right in here. I mean, look, this is one use of it and it looks so like, look at this purple. I mean, it looks rough. That's one use. So maybe I was a bit, um, blinded by the love of the packaging to see that it was not as great as I thought. But also again, it's the first time. So maybe tomorrow I'll have better luck with the um, other palettes. Okay, I'm gonna get my stuff together for my face and I'll be right back. Let's do our foundation. So I always mix multiple foundations. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix one I haven't used with the ones I like, with one I like. I'm gonna use the Catrice, this is light. This is 10, light beige. I'm gonna use this, but today I'm going to try the Lorac Porefection Foundation. Now this is pretty dark. Uh, the color is PR8 Golden Tan. Lorac, I don't even know where it's sold. I really don't know. I got this at Kohl's, um, but I, I, I've never seen any of it for sale. So I'm just gonna, and this is supposed to be, um, oil free, paraben free, fragrance free, does have SPF, which I hate. Just mix it on this, mix them together. Color looks pretty dark. Let's see. Oh, well, I guess I just mixed it up pretty close. It could probably be a hair later. I think that looks pretty close. Of course, my face is a lot darker than my neck. But that's okay. All right, let's just my sponge. Some. this on here. That's pretty close. Color match. I don't like foundation with SPF because I do think it breaks you out. Like if you're prone to breakouts, I do think it breaks you out. Or can. I used to use MAC a long time ago. Oh, it just smells like sunscreen. That's all I can smell. I always used to use MAC. And I just always, my skin looked horrible. Of course, that was a long time ago, but my sponge is drying out. Here's where I kind of clean up my edges. I'm not a perfectionist. Especially when we were wearing masks for so long. You know, it was like anything from here down didn't exist. We did the bare minimum. So you like work, work, work up here and then just quickly throw on something down here and be done. It is kind of greasy feeling. And I know the Catrice, oh, I have an itch. I know the Catrice is not greasy feeling. feels greasy. Um, I don't love the feel at all. It's one of those where you feel like if you took your finger and swiped it, it would come right off. I don't think there's any way I would 
use it alone. I'm just gonna take a dab of this Catrice by itself. And I'm just gonna do this under my eyes. This is just that Catrice foundation, which I really like. Mm. I don't love it. I do not love the feel of this. I guess we'll see how it wears. But I just, if I would have noticed it had sunscreen, I would never have bought it because I don't like sunscreen and makeup. First of all, dermatologists will tell you that the, what they put in, it doesn't even matter. Like it would never protect you from the sun. It's just pointless. Um, but I just hate it. A little bit of the Ben Nye powder. I'm just going to rub that around on my hand with my poof. And I have extremely dry skin. If you had oily skin, I think you would feel like it was just like laying on top. While we're doing just like oily things, let's try. Let's try this. This is the e.l.f. I love this formula. It's like, it's like uh, the aqua. It's that aqua set that's like, Reminds you of ColourPop that you press it in. It's like cream, kind of like that eyeshadow palette I just used. I'm gonna use the bronzer. It's pretty good. I used to really like it. I think when I didn't have any tan at all, I liked it because it's kind of natural looking. It is like a cream, but it, it's not as hard to use as a cream. I don't even know if they sell this aqua stuff anymore. I don't think I've seen it. I know at one point they had like the eyeshadow and all kinds of, I guess maybe it was a collection that they were done with, I don't know. I heard Elf had a Chipotle collection. I didn't buy it. Too. I don't think I've I really ever used the blush. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. And it matches my. I like to do a little bit of blush on my forehead. You know, like to give a little bit of a sunburn. Especially on your nose. My hat's Maybe that's the baby with foundation. I'm really smelling sunscreen. Okay, <laughs> I really got my nose good. Okay, and that's like $2 or something. I'm gonna wipe my lips off. looking at that eyeshadow and thinking, mm. what are we missing? Maybe I'm just going to use my Marc Jacobs uh, lipstick. Oh boy. Uh, I can't even read the bottom of it. It's just there. It's just the sheer.
ね Okay, so this is one of the Kylie uh, pressed bronzing powders in khaki. I've never used it because, I mean, I just don't think this would be a bronzer. Let's see. Let's see it on my skin. Mm, not really. So we're going to try it as a powder. Will it powder? Oh my gosh, these are so like okay. If it looks bad, then I won't do it again. I don't want a lot. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, okay, now I'm going to go back with that blush. Because I feel like that took down my little sunburn look that I was kind of feeling. Okay. That's kind of a lot, but that's okay. It'll be okay. I'm not gonna do a brow freeze today. I just my eyebrows need help. <laughs> I'm gonna do the um what is this? The Archery Volume Boost Brow Fiber Gel from Soap and Glory. I guess Soap and Glory is carry that. Just a tiny, teeny tiny brush. I guess this is carried at um Walgreens. That's where I've seen it. I think, I think Target does still sell it. But didn't Sephora used to sell something glory? I think so. But I always see it at Walgreens. And a lot of times they have stuff on clearance or for cheap, you know. My daughter likes their lotions. Okay, then I'm just going to do some highlight, and I don't think I have any highlight. Actually, I do have this Becca highlighter. Oh my gosh, how do you even open this? Look how dark that is. Uh, this is in chocolate. Oh my gosh. There's just no way that that's ever going to work for me. I don't think I'm ever going to be that dark, but that will work. Let's try, since we're doing cream products today, let's just do Flexitarian. This is what I was talking about, the ColourPop formula. When you push, look how you can move it. See, it's like a cream. But like, look at your finger. <laughs> oh boy. And I mean, this is stunning. It's beautiful. It's one of their best highlighters. Um, but like weird to put on. I remember when I got it and I was like, how do you do this? How does this work? I'll brush and they'll do a little swirl, I think. Otherwise, I just feel like It just does not look right. I kind of like to take it through the center of my forehead. It's just not as simple or as quick maybe as like Ofra where you can just throw it on. It's so pigmented, but it's not like cream. It's just powder. I even kind of like to go above my eyebrows sometimes. Okay. 
and I did get a different, a new spray. Well, it's not new, but I haven't used it much. Um, this is the uh, Cover FX Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz Defense Crystal Infused Elixir Mist. We'll give it a go. It says you can use it as a primer or as a setting spray. Oh my gosh, it smells really strong. Hmm. I don't love the smell. So I will put on some mascara and I will show you the final look. So I decided to use the uh, Milk Kush Mascara. Um, I don't love it. I still don't. I still don't care for it. But I hate to just throw it away. Actually, I think this is a different brush. This is a different brush. I'm going to. I'm gonna try this brush. I thought this was the one I used, but I don't think it is. I, the more I really look at my eyes, I like it. Um, it has a very wet look to it. Um, I like it. I just, it's just harder to work with than just regular. So here's the look. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.